Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I uh, here, Real Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review for you here today on the Neato. Okay, so everybody already knows how busy I am and I actually hold three professional level jobs. So I just, you know, uh, this girl does not have time to actual do the vacuuming daily. So I already own the Roomba 780, which everybody knows I love, love, love the Roomba 780. The iRobot Roomba is fantastic. And I have owned that for a few years now. And I've also done a product review on the Roomba. So if you're interested in the Roomba 780, go ahead and check out um, my product review on my channel here of that. Now, if I had not previously um, owned and, ha you know, uh, the proud owner of the Roomba, I would really say this Neato is fantastic and that I love it. And it is all that and a bag of chips and a side of a bean dip. Okay, so now, uh, but being that I have been spoiled by the Roomba for the last probably two years, I cannot really say that the Neato is all that because I am doing a comparison evidently. So I've bought the Neato. I bought this about seven and a half months ago and I bought this because I have a two level house and I wanted the iRobot Roomba 780 to take care of my kitchen, my entrance hallway, my living room, uh, my utility laundry room. I wanted the Roomba to take care of that portion of my house. The second level of my house, I wanted the Neato, which I bought for all the bedrooms, all the bathrooms, um, the hallway between the bedrooms, basically those areas. So um, I gave the Neato the smaller job, the lesser job, the smaller portion of the house, whereas the uh, Roomba takes over and does basically the load of the work, if you will. So anyhow, I bought this seven months ago. I was very excited about getting this. I will put it in the down bar below the description of the exact model number of this one. So, you know, it's seven months. I can't exactly remember, but it's I think it's the Signature Pro Series. Um, it's the one for the pet and allergies. So as you know, I have my beautiful beauty assistant, and I also do own a cat as well. So yeah, it comes in handy buying... A, Things that are geared and oriented towards uh, pets and animals. Okay, so on to the rev actual review here. Um, yeah, okay. Like I said, I'm going to end up repa uh, repairing, end up comparing, comparison to the Roomba. Uh, this pales, it just pales in comparison. It really does. It is nowhere near as effective as the Roomba. It's nowhere near as good as the Roomba. First off, my number one, the absolute number one complaint I have here with the Neato is the battery life. The battery does not last any length of time on this. And like I said, I bought this for the smaller jobs of my house. I bought it for the bedrooms and I bought it for the bathrooms and in between the bedrooms, the hallway. So um, it really does not have all that much work to do on a daily basis, if you will. You know, I really was hopeful that it could tackle, it could handle that job. Obviously, it really can't. Um, what I do is I start out here. It's docked up here. Its docking station is here, located in my master bedroom. Uh, my master bedroom is good size master bedroom. Then again, it's not not huge. It's not the biggest master bedroom, uh, you know, on the block or on the market. So I was hopeful that it could lease. This could lease Nanito tackle the master bedroom. Okay, it barely, barely does half the master bedroom, and then it runs back to its docking station. It wants to dock up. The battery just will not last that long. So what it does, it does my master bedroom in increments, which is an absolute pain in the neck. What it'll do, it'll do half the master bedroom. It'll dock up back in, at its docking station here from a dead battery. It'll tell you on the screen here that it's recharging its battery. Once it's recharged its battery in about 30 minutes, 30 minutes later, it will just kick off from here, kick off from the docking station. It will finish the master bedroom. Then it'll run back to the dock. Okay, now after it runs back to the dock, it'll dock up another 30 minutes. And usually by then, I will feel and realize that it's really done with the master bedroom. Then I will have to actually move this entire device, grab it here by the handle like so, and I will move it into the hallway between the bedrooms. 
and let it do the hallway up and down and then I will let it go in and out of the bathroom a few times um, yeah and then it I will let it go into one of the other bedrooms I'll let it go into one of the other bedrooms down the hall open leave the doors open let it do its thing it'll head into one of the bedrooms get halfway done and then it's roaring across the hall back in here to the master bedroom to the docking station to dock itself up so it cannot even handle doing the hallway between the bedrooms and half a bedroom before it's running back to the stocking station in the master bedroom here and loading back up its battery, charging up. So after it charges up, I have to hand carry this again, once again, like so, into the bedroom, down the hall, and across the way, let it finish that bedroom. After it finishes that bedroom, it will start one of the other bedrooms to get about halfway done. Same thing, it'll shoot across the hall, it'll come in here in the master bedroom, it will dock itself up. The battery is the biggest, biggest, biggest complaint on the Neato. The battery does not last. You are lucky to get 20 minutes of vacuum time out of this device and then it is screaming needing to run back to its docking station. So very inconvenient, very big pain in the butt. Whereas my Roomba, my Roomba can do, it can do my entire kitchen, my entire utility room, laundry room. It can do my entire living room. It can do my entrance area where my front door is located. It can do all that big area on one battery charge and some. I mean, the battery life on the Roomba is unbelievable. It lasts so freaking long. It is unreal. It is so, so impressive. Absolutely love it. Okay, but this, the Neato, my complaint here, number one complaint, that is, the battery life sucks. Unbelievably sucks with the Neato. I get 20 minute vacuum time. It is running back to the stocking station, having to recharge this battery, juice itself back up, pump itself back up. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Let me show you what else I hate about the Neato here, okay? Let me show you. Okay, and um, it has a lot of bells and whistles, if you will, here. Um, I really think, for me, honestly, it's a little too much computerized, a little too much digitized going on. It's really totally useless, whereas the Roomba is not that digitized, and yet it is so by far more user-friendly than this one. It is unreal. So, you know, you can schedule this to work anytime you want. It's fantastic for scheduling, um, which is great. Day of the week, time, whatever. That's fantastic. Um, it'll tell you on the screen here. It'll tell you, like, empty. It'll say empty your uh, bin, empty the trash bin. I, I can't even think what it's called. <laughs> the dust bin. Okay, empty the dust bin, yada, 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 whatever. Um, you know, it gives you all these... Uh, prompts here okay which it is just too digitized compare it to the Roomba it is a pain in the butt second main complaint here besides the battery life is terrible second main complaint is it will tell you very very frequently that the dust and dirt bin is full okay so it tells me it's full I open it up and it looks like this look you guys it looks like this and it's not full and I'm like, what in the world? It'll have a few pet hairs, you know, stuck to the top of the filter there. Um, have even a few of my hairs, because you know I have that <laughs> long flowing mermaid hair, if you will. And it'll scream and tell me that the bin is full. And I'm like, what in the world? And okay, so I'll empty it. And when I empty it, honestly, it will have, I'm not kidding you, one strand of my hair it will have in the bin. And then it's screaming here, telling me basically it's it's full it will not work so when it gets full it freezes up and will not work any longer open it up like I just showed you I pull out one or two hairs or I pull out a few of my beauty assistants up hairs you know so that's very frustrating um, I really wish before it gives you the command that the dustbin dirt bin is full I really wish it would actually be full and not just fake full or like placebo full it is such a pain in the rear unbelievable so yeah that's my second complaint first complaint is the battery does not last long i have to get very manual with this um, like i said being the battery does not last very long i have to get very manual i have to carry this around carry it from room to room room to room start it over um 
make sure it's it has you know charged up it is a pain in the wad oh my gosh let me flip it over and let me show you what i really do like about the neato what i actually like is hopefully you can see this I'm trying to one hand it here so yeah one hand shows not the best but i really love the size of the brush the brush is long in length I love that. It is very uh, effective in that way. It ca does catch a lot of hair. A lot of my hair gets wrapped around this. You could probably even see it. Um, yeah, and it's very reminiscent of a regular roller on a traditional vacuum. So I like that. You know, that's like 10 or 11 inches long. And it does catch a lot of hair there. And mostly a lot of my hair, <laughs> unfortunately, gets wound up in there. But hey, you know, it is very typical of a vacuum for that to happen. That is not the complaint. Battery life's the complaint. Two, it tells me that a dustbin is full and it ceases up and stops working. And the dustbin is not full. It is absolute like a fake placebo. So anyhow, um, really don't know what more I could tell you about this. When it does clean, yes, it cleans okay, but you have to clean a very, very tiny, small space because, like I said, you are very lucky to get 20 minutes of vacuum time, actual vacuum time, out of it. And that is a pain in the butt when you have to watch it dock itself up, wait another 30 minutes, to let it run again, watch it dock itself up again, another 30 minutes, let it run again, and it takes like an all-day process. It's very tedious. It's very frustrating. Um, I have to get very manual with this. I have to lift it up, carry it from room to room, which is a pain in the butt. You actually should not have to do that. It should leave its charging station clean, do its business, and then dock up. It should not have to dock charge, dock charge, dock charge. Give me a fake placebo thing here telling me that the dust and dirt bin is full when in fact it's not. So it's just too digitized. It's a pain in the neck. And you have to actually have to read this one. Like the Roomba, the Roomba will scream at you and the Roomba will tell you, move me to another location, charge my battery. It will holler out commands in English or whatever uh, other language that you wanted to speak. This one does not talk or it's not vocal, does not holler at you. You have to actually read the digitized screen here. I mean, you really have to get down here. It is such a pain in the neck. You have to scroll through all this business, you know, and you have to read all this stuff and you have to make selections. And it's just, uh, yeah, the Neato Robot vacuum is just not for me. I love the Roomba. I will forever be indebted to the Roomba and I will continue to buy Roombas. And that's probably what I'm going to end up replacing this Neato with within the next few months. I will be buying another Roomba because the Neato just does not work for me. Sorry, friends. I cannot recommend the Neato. But, however, the Roomba 780 is on the money. Love, love, love. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to give me a like. As always, be sure to subscribe. Real Beautiful Beauty loves you guys. Take care now. Have a good one. Bye.